Hello, welcome. So we're going to take a basic function of Google Sheets, which is the checkbox, and we are going to take it to its nth uh, degree. We are going to bastardize it. We are going to go crazy, get a little creative with checkboxes today. Um, and I'm starting with a brand new sheet.new. I've gone here, I've added a brand new sheet, and we are starting from scratch. So typically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens typically, and then we're just going to keep going. So what you use Google Sheets for a lot of times is probably like a to-do list. I have another video called an interactive to-do list, and I've taken a, a checkbox and an if function and shown you how to uh, basically show what's done. This is not that video. <laughs> this is just going to talk about checkboxes. So what we usually do is, you know, we might have a task, right? Let's talk about a to-do list. To-do, right? We have a task, and we have tasks. And then we might even have, like, who does them, right? Who is assigned to them, if you have multiple people. And you have task one, you have task two, and you want to know, like, is, did this person actually do it? Well, you're probably going to insert, go to insert a uh, checkbox probably going to do that. You might even copy and paste this all the way down. And great. You have task one, task two, task three, task four. Great. Let's keep going, right? Let's just keep adding more and more. Um, and visually, you know, what happens is I always like to have a little bit of room uh, above and beyond, uh, below these things so they don't all blur together. I like to also take the checkbox box and usually the checkbox is so tiny in this sort of very wide angle I will create a square so I will do something like this I will go to resize column I will probably okay that's a hundred pixels um, I'm gonna just cut it in half 50 uh, but we might even go smaller let's that's perfect so still looks rectangular so what I might do as well is I will take these rows and resize these rows as well. I'll do it this way. Let me go over here. All right. Perfect. Right click, resize rows. And I want this checkbox to be a square, so I will specify that it's 50. Um, and we get a lot of nice room. We get our checkbox in the middle of a square, a little bit of room, so we can check check it on check it off um couple weird things you can do with checkboxes as well uh this one is you can make this 100 side 100 now what happens right it checks and the whole box is a checkbox but you don't see the checkbox sometimes you don't need to see the checkbox so what you can do is you can take the uh, let's just call that blue and Put this blue, and if you click here, it'll say you have clicked on a checkbox that's not visible. Why is that? It's because both the text color and the fill color are exactly the same. So you don't want this, right? You don't you don't want it to necessarily not know if it's checked or not. But like maybe sometimes we just want to check it and move on with our lives. So what you could do is you can create a custom color. Let's use this custom color as the text and use a custom color as the fill. And we're going to make it just a little bit different. So we're just going to like move these numbers up or down. It doesn't matter. It is so slight. And now you don't get that message and you get a checkbox. And, it, and if you look here, it actually is changing true or false. You see it a little bit, um, but that's a really fun thing. You can also make it. 200 here. Oh, that's way too much. Yeah, you can make your checkbox as big as you want to fill up the entire thing, even though it's only 50, even though the square is only 50 pixels by 50 pixels, and the font size is now what, 200? And that's a pretty cool thing to do, and we can take that all the way down, right? And now these are buttons, essentially, not just checkboxes. Um, makes it a little interesting. Some interesting things there. Many times with checkboxes, though, we a checkbox is only true or false, and it's only a visual representation of true or false. You can actually change that true or false. By the way, you can insert. This is probably a little off topic, but you can insert a checkbox. You can right-click on that checkbox, 
Uh, you can go to data validation. And you see here, it says criteria checkbox. Right under it, it says use custom cell values. And you can actually change this to yes, no, and save. And now, whenever this check, see it says no already, checked, it's yes. Great. So we can use this all the way down. All right, a little pet peeve of mine. I'm going to delete all the uh, rows underneath here, just so we don't keep doing that. Delete rows. All right, so now you see, actually, it's it's not even a checkbox. I think I, I pasted values here. All right, we got checkboxes. So we have yes or no here. Maybe you need steps in a process, right? A checkbox is only yes or no, true or false. It's it's one or the other. It's a it's a it's a, a binary function. Uh, but what happens if we need say like steps in a process, approvals? We just need to say approved or not approved. And what's going to happen is many times uh, we'll do we'll either add a checkbox and say approved, right? But then this will still say true or false, so we can actually change this. Uh, again, we'll, we'll do this again. We'll go to view more cell functions, data validation, and we go approved, not approved. But again, that's a binary function. Maybe there's like three or four things we need to choose from, right? We need to say, well, we've checked it. We haven't approved it yet, but we checked it. Or, hey, I've assigned this to someone else. And they haven't checked it, nor have they approved it. So what's going to happen is we really will have like a C uh, or a few more options, and we're going to like say approved here, assigned, uh, and then maybe the first step is check. And there's also you know verify, right? There might be multiple steps. So I'm gonna actually insert a checkbox again. Insert checkbox. I'm gonna copy that all the way down. We just want true or false here. We don't want anything else. We don't want to bastardize. But again, just like we did here with approved, we can make these all assigned, unassigned, not checked yet, checked, verified, not verified yet. Um, but now that we have like a sea of checkboxes, like this is pretty hard uh, to see, like to sift through, right? We have black and white text. We have checkboxes that are essentially sort of grayish a little bit. It is a nice visual representation. Um, another option beyond checkboxes is to do, this is what people mainly do, actually, I've seen this a lot. So do a, a drop down and they'll say list from approved. And we'll say, um, actually, no, we want list from um, items. So approved, not yet approved. And we go save. So what's interesting about this is that there are actually three states. There is unfilled out, and then you can click the down, and you can say approved. And so a blank, in this case, is I haven't even done anything yet. I haven't even begun to, to do it yet, right? So that's pretty good. Sometimes checkboxes are good for true or false, but you might not know if like I haven't done it yet because unchecked means nothing, right? Like it doesn't mean that I've uh, looked at this and tried it, but having a blank uh, drop down menu with two options, the blank means something. It means I haven't done it yet. So we can also say unapproved, right? We can say approved or not, not, yes, this should not be not yet approved. It should be unapproved. Right, so we go unapproved. And so the blank actually is the representation of not yet approved. There we go. We have a problem there. Boom. So again, what you might want to do is have some things checkbox some things a drop down menu where you have three states and you don't necessarily have to use text for drop down menus um you could do i have a whole nother video about adding uh ratings here where maybe you do like five but then somebody else adds in five five stars like 
you want a rating and you want to know, you know, okay, it's one through five stars. And so here, I'll show you a couple of cool ways to do this, right? We can do view more selections, data validation, and inside of this list of items, we can do this. We can do one star, a list of star. There we go, there's a star. And then we can do star, comma, two stars, comma, three stars, comma, four stars, and then five stars if we want five stars as the highest. Maybe save. And now a five star would be five stars. So again, in the other video, I, I, I talk about how we can convert this to an actual number, which we can use if, we can use ifs, we can use case. Go watch that other video if you want to know how to turn emojis into numbers. Um, but we can do this. But what, what's one more interesting thing we can do here, right? If we use, if we have three stars, this is pretty... No, it's not super easy to tell the difference, right? When we're using Google Sheets a lot of the time, like in the same Google Sheet, a lot of the information is going to blur together if it looks all the same. If we have just this blank spot for two of these stars. So one extra little thing we can do, and we're going to just, I'm going to show you here in data validation, is add more stars or boxes can do, uh, st let's see if there's a black star. There are black stars, yay. Okay, so we can add four there, three there, we're just adding two there, and one there. Let's see if this works, save. And now when we want three stars, it looks like that. But again, this maybe look, this is pretty confusing. It's just, it's black star or yellow star. All right, we can do one better, even better than this. We can just do a box. So I was going to do before, but here we go. We can do, we want a, actually, black box, I think. Black square, I think it's called, yeah. Uh, we can do a small one or a big one. I think the small one, no, we want the big one. Black square, I think it's called. There it is. We want the biggest one possible. Yeah, that's good. That's going to look like a blank. Four of those three of those, and then two here, two there, and then that was one. Cool. Save. Now let's look at that. There is no mistaking that, right? That is one star and a bunch of boxes. We can also change the uh, font size. I would like, I always like rating to be pretty darn big. Let's go with 20. Oh yeah, that looks great. All right, let's Paste that formatting. Oh, oh my god, that looks awesome. Oh, that that is really, really cool. So we can just take this. Oops. And we can even just delete all those if we don't want to rate it yet. But this is great. We can see very clearly the difference between five stars and one star. Much easier than seeing blanks, especially on this white background. All right, let's go back to these checkboxes and try to make them a little bit better than a sea of black and white. First off, we can change the color. That's always cool. We can change the color to green, and we have nice green ones. We can also change the background. I like changing the background to a little bit darker. There. And let's even lighten up that green a little bit more. Still green, but nice. We can do the opposite. So sometimes we want a light background and a darker checkbox. Let's see, that's good. Oh, that's sweet. That looks so sweet, right? Very different, but sometimes you want different. And we can also uh, copy and paste these, I'm going to just insert two more rows, two more columns, and you can see what they look like with this uh, sort of alternate style. That's what I like to do when I have sort of a sea of the same thing over and over again. Again, we can also change the size, because maybe uh, one of these is more important than the other one, and we want a little bit bigger size. That is great. That makes a huge difference. All right, just to review, we've uh, done a lot of cool things with checkboxes. What we have done is 
we have made a checkbox bigger than the cell it is in, so that we sort of actually hide that it's a checkbox, could even become a button. We have created a sea of, of checkboxes if there's many multiple true or false things. We've also changed the true or false to a different different text. Then uh, we've added drop-down menus, uh, which drop-down menus are great for certain things that checkboxes don't do well. And we even created a rating. Again, I've, I have another video where I go deeper into rating. If you like this video, if you've gotten anything out of it, even the first one, I think the first one, knowing that you can make a checkbox bigger than the cell is like mind-blowing. And comment down below how you're using checkboxes or heck, just give me a thumbs up, give me a like on this video um, if it's if you're watching it on YouTube and I uh, hope you have a better Google Sheet after this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.